Hello and welcome to UC Today. I'm Senior Editor Tom Wright and I'm delighted to be joined by Mo from Cineverse. How's it going? Uh, hey Tom, pleasure to be here. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. It's great to have you. And we're going to be talking about um, an exciting recent launch from Cineverse. But um, to start us off, could you kind of talk through the, the digital customer engagement market and how things have sort of changed over the last couple of years? Uh, absolutely. Uh, what has happened with uh, particularly the pandemic is, again, across industries, we have accelerated digital transformation. And one of the key markets where that has happened uh, is uh, customer engagement. Uh, from one-off notifications, primary uh, communication with customers has moved to omni-channel digital engagement. And more importantly, it's important to engage customers on their terms, on their preferred channels, uh, the way they want to. And, the customer, and our customers, who are the large enterprises, have to do that at massive scale globally and get it right every time. So when you take those trends and you think about the legacy platforms that you know would typically be tasked with dealing with that kind of transformation, how are they holding up? So from, from our perspective, uh, we saw our own services evolving from taking SMS from point A, deliver it to point B, get it right to intelligently decide real time what is the best way to deliver a message and if a particular channel fails what's the next best way so we are now making massive real-time orchestration decisions in our platforms and we need to do this uh, real time we need to do this at scale whenever our customers send campaigns in parallel we need to make sure that the time critical messages that our customers count on us for like one-time passwords multi-factor authentications they also ride in the platform and perform equally well so uh, we felt existing platforms consumed a lot of uh, uh, hardware real estate had constraints that we all constantly had to address so we saw this as an opportunity to really go all in on a cloud-based distributed stream processing platform. And that's exactly what we have gone up and done. Yeah, so that leads us nicely onto um, Cineverse HCP. Could you talk us a bit about um, the development of that platform and how you're, you're taking things to another level? Uh, ab absolutely. So uh, as I said, that we had what we felt was a watershed moment in front of us. We could double down. We have platforms that have been stable, performing extremely well for a while. But we decided this is an opportunity to really build for the future, build for what we see coming as uh, omni-channel engagement at global scale in keeping with our ambitions and in keeping with what our customers are looking to do. So we decided to build cloud native. It's not about porting uh, software and uh, algorithms that exist on-prem onto the cloud, but to build leveraging the best practices uh, in the cloud, uh, leveraging microservices, leveraging security best practices, making sure we are leveraging a constraint-free system to process messages at scale, make decisions, including security decisions at scale, but at no time compromising on latency. And that's that's how we started with HCP. We already have our first customer out there and uh, we are looking forward to uh, ramping up and deploying instances globally, which is again, another big advantage of being cloud native. It takes me a matter of minutes to spin up an instance anywhere our cloud providers present. Yeah, and you mentioned um, you got your first customer on board. It'd be nice to get an idea of the kind of companies that you think will really benefit from the platform, because the scalability is is pretty much limitless, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. And uh, for us, uh, we serve all kinds of customers, but our focus is on helping global enterprises, the Fortune 2000 enterprises, engage their global customer base, customize for each region, customize for each customer group. So those are the customers who are now looking towards making uh, CPaaS communication a core part of their customer engagement strategy. 
They are looking to add uh, multiple channels. They are looking to have orchestration across channels. They want to be more customer aware of what a customer's preferences on what channels to customer respond. And those are the customers uh, that we are really targeting here. And a lot of them, as you know, are, are existing customers. And we are excited to be part of their evolution towards orchestrated omnichannel CPaaS. Okay, and I've just got one more question for you. Are you able to give us any clues about how we might see you continue to develop the platform over the coming months? So that's uh, a lot of uh, interesting things that we are working on in accelerating our platform development. That's again, one other advantage for us internally with the cloud native platform and in that integrating partners, uh, integrating new services is extremely fast. It's uh, continuous integration, continuous uh, deployment. So we are looking to add chatbot capabilities, other social channels, uh, much more uh, richer orchestration across omnichannels uh, in the next few months. Okay, well, it sounds like there's going to be a lot happening and we'll certainly be keeping an eye out for the news. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us and talking us through the new platform. Uh, thank you so much, Tom. It's been a pleasure. And thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and a share on social media and we'll see you next time.